welcome to the video edition of GearCast. I'm Kevin Beckham, your host, and uh, my guest is uh, Rick Threadgill, who is here from Grass Valley. And uh, Rick, we've been training the salespeople on these, and I wanted to share it with our GearCast audience as well. Uh, this is a new product in the line. The T2 is the latest in your, what I would call a DVR replacement. This is a digital multi-channel hard drive based uh, video recorder player. And we're using it in an application here to demonstrate the switcher. But I want to focus a little bit on the recorder and player and uh, go through the detail on that. So. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a new product called the T2 IDDR. And uh, we're really excited about this. We just started shipping this a few weeks ago and it's the replacement of the turbo which was really a legendary product in the market when it came out four years ago and was adopted by a lot of different kinds of customers it picks up on that lineage but adds so much more um, the 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 big upgrade is that it's now a full high definition product and that was something turbo had been missing for a while and it's multi-channel and uh, you know back in vtr days we did one trick at a time we either recorded or we played and it was one channel uh, this box, even though it's about the size of a conventional VTR in the old days, uh, we're dealing with one channel of record and two channels of playback, and it can do it all simultaneously. Is that right? That's right. And many customers would look at this as three VTRs in one package, mm -hmm. and it's the luxury we have in the progression of our industry that we've moved to file-based workflows that we're able to do all this in one package. So it's a single channel record, two channels of playback in either st uh, standard definition, analog or digital, and of course, all the high definition flavors. And for IOs, we're talking uh, SDI, either high def SDI or standard def uh, SDI. Uh, how about embedded audio? Is handle, handle audio and is all embedded it or, or okay at this yeah. point? Yeah, that's a big upgrade from Turbo. Turbo, for customers who use Turbo and SDI, it could not support embedded audio. T2 does. It supports eight channels of audio per SDI. So both on the record and on each playback channel, up to eight channels embedded. Does it also have discrete audio inputs as well? That's right. Analog inputs, XLR uh, inputs, and outputs on the back. Oh, excellent. Well, one of the uh, uh, really attractive features is this excellent GUI in the front with a uh, LCD screen that's actually large enough to see what's going on, and it's, uh, it's not just data. We're actually seeing images of what's playing back on the channels at the moment. Yeah, this was a major upgrade uh, concern we had when we were looking at this product and how could we bring something to the market that was compelling. And Turbo was the first product to really uh, give people what they wanted, but they needed a little more. Mm -hmm. So uh, upgraded on this now, we've gone to a seven inch touch panel display that I can uh, you know, very easily use as a full screen monitor on here. Uh, and uh, the user interface was completely re-engineered so that you actually could use it like a traditional VTR. In addition to running it like a computer, we have a workstation GUI that we can demonstrate a little later. Well, the, uh, the unit has another capability, which makes it way better than just having three VTRs uh, uh, stacked together. Uh, these channels can be tied together, so if you have an alpha channel or something where the, the time relation to the other channel is critical, it's all tied together, I understand. Is that right? Absolutely, and that was another thing that our customers wanted to see in a DDR product was the ability to easily gang their playout channels together. So with T2, through a simple software click, you can synchronize your channel playout. Uh, whether you're using it for a key fill role in a switcher application or even in a 3D kiosk application and you want your channels to be in frame accurate sync as they move along. Now I'm asking dangerous questions because I don't know the answer in advance here, but what about looping? A lot of times it's useful to have a background that loops or repeats. Is it capable of doing that as well? It's capable of doing loops. It's capable of looping playlists. It's capable of editing material on the fly and trims and so on. It's Very also slick, yeah. capable of, as you're recording in the record channel, I'm able to play back what I'm recording while I'm still recording for some time Operating shift a, a applications. Time shift or delay applications. That's right. Well, let's talk about the, uh, the use of the uh, monitor behind us. Now, currently you're in the, in the front panel mode. Uh, what do you have to do to get it to switch back to here? I really, all I need to do is hook up a keyboard, monitor, and mouse, and ask the product to go into workstation mode. When I do that, it's going to stop playing video at the moment and ask me, what would you like to do? And I'll get basically the same look and feel, but I'm operating with a keyboard and mouse and can simply double click a file and have it play. And again, I can preview the video, whether I'm in the workstation mode or whether I'm in uh, front panel mode. Oh, it's outstanding. I can picture this uh, on remote <coughs> trucks and certainly for uh, 
uh, scoreboard applications in, uh, in stadiums and, and just any place. In fact, we would use one in our control room here for playing back material for uh, displays on set and all of those applications, as well as recording the output of the uh, control room at the same time. Absolutely. What a cool product. Once again, it's the T2, and it's uh, brand new. So is it shipping currently? Is it it's shipping now? currently, and uh, there's three models to choose from based upon your storage needs. The base unit has about nine and a half hours of capacity at 150 megabit HD at a 1080i 60 mm -hmm. uh, record. Uh, it uh, has no redundancy at that model. The next step up is a RAID 10 version. Okay. Same capacity, but since it's RAID 10, some people call that a RAID 1 plus 0, all the media is fully redundant. So if you lost a hard drive, you haven't lost any of your content. Mm -hmm. And then we also a completely solid state version. Not as much capacity, about four and a half hours, but all solid state, so no spinning discs, very durable. Outstanding. Rick, thank you. A uh, very good overview on the uh, T2 and a product that we're going to be seeing a lot of. So thank you for joining us. Great. Thank you very much.